Wow, it's so sunny today. I think I'm going to close the window. There we go. The window is closed. Hello and welcome to another lesson from the Phrasal Verb King. So here at the beginning of my video today, the window was open and I closed it. I closed the window. But now, right now, I am opening the window back up to open once again, to open back up. So, in my last lesson, I taught all the different examples and all of the phrasal verbs for to open up, to open up. So if you have been phrasal verb following along, if you have been paying attention and watching my lessons, then this lesson I think will be very helpful because I'm going to teach the opposite of to open up. And I am going to teach you all of the phrasal verbs using the verb to close with some different prepositions. So, if you have been following along, you know that I always say to pay attention to the context of the sentence to try to understand the phrasal verb within the sentence. So here we go. This is a great question. Have many businesses and restaurants closed down in your town because of the bad economy from the pandemic? This is a very powerful question. One more time. Have many businesses and restaurants closed down because of the bad economy from the pandemic? Well, let's think about the context for a second. Because of the pandemic, many people couldn't go to restaurants to eat because people couldn't be in a public place together. And so because of this, many of the restaurants were having a really hard time because they were not making a very good business because they did not have many, or in some cases, they didn't have any customers coming to eat. So what happens when a business can't make money? A business is going to close down and a business is going to very unfortunately go out of business. So if a business closes down, it's not going to exist anymore. It's going to cease to conduct business, to stop doing business when a business, a restaurant closes down. Are you closed off emotionally around new people? One more time. Are you closed off emotionally around new people? You remember the phrasal verb to open up? Well, to open up emotionally would be really to share, to share your feelings, to communicate with new people. But if you are the opposite of this, if you are closed off, then you are an introverted person. You are a very shy person. You maybe isolate from other people if you are closed off. Somebody that maybe has a hard time making new friends. Somebody that maybe has a hard time getting into new romantic relationships if they are closed off. Here's a great question if you like to follow politics. Should trials of corrupt politicians be closed off 
to the general public and the media? And one more time, because this is a complex question. Should trials, when somebody goes before a judge, usually in a criminal case, of corrupt politicians, presidents, governors, senators, be closed off to the general public, people who aren't politicians, people like you and me, and the press. The press is another meaning for the media. So, if a corrupt politician goes to a trial and the trial is closed off, then access is going to be denied. They don't want maybe people like you and me to know what is going on, and they don't want the media to show what is going on if they are going to close off the case, if they are going to deny access, to deny access and not allow someone in. If they don't open it up, they are going to close it off. Have you ever managed a store during the evening hours and had to close up at night? Again, have you ever managed a store in the evening hours and had to close up at night. Well, when a business closes for the evening at nighttime, usually the manager has to close up the store. So nobody is going to, phrasal verb, break in to the store and rob the business. So usually the manager to the store is going to lock up the business. The manager is going to close up the business by locking the front door, locking the back door, and in many cases, setting an alarm. When you close up a business, when you secure it, when you lock it. Here's a good question for everybody that likes to spend time in the outdoors, in nature. What should you do if you are alone on a trail and a mountain lion starts to close in on you? One more time, okay? What should you do if you are hiking alone on a trail and a mountain lion starts to close in on you. Well, a mountain lion is like a big cat. We have a lot of mountain lions in the United States, in places like Colorado, Utah, New Mexico. And a lot of times, mountain lions attack people that are out hiking or running in these trails. So, what should you do if a mountain lion starts to close in on you to prepare its attack. Well, if a mountain lion starts to close in on you, you want to stand tall and you want to make a lot of noise to scare the mountain lion. So the mountain lion will, another phrasal verb, run away. Whoa, my crown! And so finally, my last question, which I really love. Are you closing in on your English goals. You got that? Are you? Are you closing in on your English goals? Hmm. Well, you started your English language journey speaking nothing. And now, if you understand this video and these phrasal verbs that I am teaching you, your English is really improving. Your English is really getting better. And you, yes you, you are closing in on your English goals. 
you are accomplishing your goals if you are closing in on your English speaking goals. So this was a great lesson and I'm really happy if you are closing in on your English speaking goals and starting to learn some phrasal verbs from the phrasal verb king.